So we believe about 5 to 10 percent of cancers are hereditary, so caused by a single gene that does not function. And about 20 percent of cancers are familial, and that's when there's both an environmental factor as well as a genetic predisposition, so many genes acting together. And then about 70 percent of cancers are thought to be sporadic, so just bad luck. So in families where there's um, um, hereditary cancer, we see multiple individuals affected um, at young ages, so usually under the age of 50, and we see individuals with multiple primary cancers, so that can be either um, bilateral breast cancer or breast and ovarian cancer. We also see men who can have breast cancer, and we see multiple generations affected. Okay, so the two common genes that are associated with hereditary breast and ovarian cancer are BRCA1 and BRCA2. So they stand for breast cancer, number one and two. And they cause, well, they represent about 85% of all hereditary breast cancers. And with, when those two genes are mutated, there's about an 85% chance of breast cancer and a 20 to 40 percent chance of ovarian cancer, depending on which gene has the mutation. There's also a slightly increased risk of pancreatic cancer, melanoma, prostate cancer, and men also have an increased risk of breast cancer. So those two genes are passed down in what we call an autosomal dominant inheritance. So autosomal means that both men and women can be affected and pass it down to both boys and girls. And dominant mostly means that someone who is affected, so who has a mutation, has a 50% chance to pass it down to boys and girls. On the other hand, someone who is not affected, who does not carry a mutation, cannot pass it down to their children.